So the first ever Showstar boxing event took place with an aspect of it being content creators from the UK taking on ones from the US and then the main event of this would be Deji versus Alex Wasabi. Now while the results and reactions of that fight went crazy, pretty much the rest of the event also had plenty of talking points and conversations to be had. So the show started off with Sal Poppy taking on his opponent, Halal Ham, but before that fight would take place, a rapper on Halal Ham's side decided to, I guess, spit some bars against Salt Poppy and he ended up saying this. But tonight you're about to get boxed and put in your place. Now you're either high as fuck or you're Chinese because your eyeballs look sunk into your face. A man heard you with a size 9 whip ways. Looking like an extra from Squid Game. Yeah, these comments weren't taken well as we saw people on social media calling it out. Even the commentators were not happy with those comments. Yeah, that's not cool, bro. Like, get him out of there, like, why is he in there? But all of that didn't seem to mess with Saw Poppy's vibes because he ended up taking the victory here with a unanimous decision. After that, Saw Poppy went on to ask who wants to solve next and his defeated opponent, Halal Ham, posted a feel good post after his loss and then also posted a picture of him and Saw Poppy together after the fight. And as for the rapper guy that got cancelled, I guess, he tweeted a bit about the situation and then also posted this picture of him with Salt Poppy, which I guess just entails that there wasn't any sort of animosity between them. Now the next fight at the event was Stromedy versus Austin Sprints and it ended up going the distance, with Stromedy being declared the winner via majority decision. After that fight happened, Stromedy would post that he was definitely going to keep training for a future boxing opponent and Austin Sprints would just post that he was grateful for the opportunity that he got. Next fight up on the card was Mellow Fellow versus Pretty Boy Anthony Taylor. A little fun fact here is that this Anthony Taylor guy was one of Jake Paul's sparring partners but what ended up happening here in the showstar event was that we saw mellow fellow defeat anthony taylor via unanimous decision after the fight mellow fellow claimed to have easily won the fight in an ifl tv interview i went a bit soft on him you know because i know uh he's a bit of a favorite on the show but uh <laughs> yeah i just went out there for a bit of light work IFL TV also interviewed Anthony Taylor and there was really only one person on his mind to who he wanted to fight next. This is just, I underperformed, who cares? This is just setting up confidence for Anderson Gibb to actually take the fight. Where does Anthony Taylor go next? Uh, I'll fight Anderson Gibb next. June, Liam, stop holding Anderson Gibb's nuts. Liam signed the contract. I gave him a chance now to fight me now that he builds confidence. Now the next fight that was on the card was DK Money versus Ryan Taylor and this fight ended up with DK Money being declared the winner because Ryan Taylor intentionally headbutted him. After the event was said and done, Ryan Taylor uploaded a two minute video onto his Instagram where he addressed the situation. Guys, seriously, I do want to apologize for the, um, I'd say I'm professional but clearly I'm not a professional boxer, I've never had a manual given to me, I've never read a book. I've never been given a, you know, an instruction manual on how to box. I accepted this fight with three weeks notice. DK Money, of course, had a bit of a rant on Instagram because of the headbutt that he took, but he would also go on to say that he would continue to box and that he talked to a show star about another fight. Now, the next fight that happened on the card was Arms versus Minicon, and Arms won that one by majority decision. Some controversy came out of this as a lot of people thought that Minicon was robbed of a victory. Minicon would post onto his Instagram this picture with the caption, I won overall, no matter the decision. Your boy made it to the UK and had an amazing time. And he would also repost some sentiments onto his stories where people were saying that he should have been the winner. Arms on the other hand posted a 3 minute video onto his Instagram where he was thanking his supporters. Next fight up that took place on the card was Vitaly versus Kristen Hanby. Kristen Hanby walked to the ring with normal attire while Vitaly walked with his middle finger mask. The two fought it out and Vitaly actually got headbutted in the fight a few times but it seems as if they didn't punish Kristen Hanby for it. And in the end the fight ended up being a majority draw. After the fight Vitaly Vitaly posted a parent DMs from the Pro Boxing Association where apparently the referee and set of judges in control of Vitaly's fight were not actual licensed officials. As to what his opponent Kristen Hamby did after the fight, he did an interview with Behind the Gloves and he had this to say about him and Vitaly's fight ending in a draw. Are you anticipating to, to fight again? Yeah, yeah, I think obviously we're going to have to have a rematch, you know what I'm saying, okay. getting there a rematch. There has to be a winner after all the hype for a week. The two would even find each other when Fight Star TV was interviewing Kristen Hamby. We go crazy, bro. Yeah. Everyone was saying to me we stole the show. What did yeah. we say? Yeah, we're there, but well, why did you head by me, bro? Come well, on. Just this natural instinct, you know? It's just, <laughs> I should have been like Mike Tyson and bit yeah, up the fuck out of you. killer instinct, we'll fight. Oh, you see a rematch from the both of the year? Yeah, I would love to. I thought he was going to be his opponent. But now onto the co-main event, we had King Kenny take on Face Temper. And this was the most controversial fight of the night because mostly everybody that watched the fight assumed that Face Temper was going to be announced the winner when they went the distance. But the judges ended up saying that King Kenny was the winner. After the surprising announcement came out, everybody started going off on this decision on Twitter, especially Face Clan members. We had 
Face Banks speak on this, Face Rug, Face Tico, Jarvis. We even have other content creators speak out on this, saying that Temper got robbed, like Taylor Holder, Bryce Hall, Keemstar. And it wouldn't be limited to YouTubers either. The professional boxer Ryan Garcia even said that Temper got robbed. Temper, after the decision was made, would tweet out, fucking bullshit. So seeing all those reactions, it was pretty clear that everybody thought that Temper should have won. But King Kenny thought otherwise as he went on to tweet, everyone in the arena saw a one that. I don't know why people online are saying it's rigged. Gonna review the whole fight shortly on a video and show why I won. And if he wants to run it back in America for me to beat him again, then bring it. And then he would upload a video onto his channel stating the same sentiments as the tweet. The fight was a very, very close fight. Round one and two, Thomas won those rounds. Now round four and five, those were my rounds. Now round three, it could have gone either way. So I understand why the public's opinion is split. And for that reason, I don't want to claim the victory because when I win, I want to make sure I won clean cut, no questions about it. Thomas, now I'm talking directly to you. You're saying you got robbed. I'm saying let's settle this with a rematch on your turf, a professional fight, 10 ounce gloves. And this time, I'm not going to leave it to the judges. So let's get a contract in the works and make this rematch happen. Or if you're a pussy, we just leave it as that. Now, at around this time, Keemstar put out a tweet saying that Face Clan was going to be appealing the decision of the fight, and now we just got to wait and see what happens there. And finally, we go on to the main event, which was Deji versus Alex Wasabi. Aside from the craziness that happened during the match, like when one fan ran into the ring and then got thrown out, everything went all right with both fighters as they went the distance, and the person that came out to be the winner here would be Alex Wasabi via split decision. After the fight had happened and the result was announced, Alex would do an interview with the YouTube channel Fred Talks Fighting and tell us what his plans were in the future. Do you think we'll see you in the ring again? Oh yeah, immediately. I want to I want to fight at least four more times this year. Any opponents in mind? I got to ask. Ah, uh, I mean, Deji, I definitely want to rematch with Deji. Uh, I think me and Vinny, KSI, if he I've, uh, if he wants to come down and wait, um, I'm down for that. Kenny. Kenny would be a good match. We're the same height. Uh, and uh, yeah, that'd be a good match too. But another opponent that Alex didn't take into consideration was Gib. Gib, after the Deji vs Wasabi match was over, tweeted out, Let me wake Wasabi. And to some people's surprise, Alex actually responded to that tweet with, Let's get it. Come down to 175, Big Gibby. Gib has yet to respond, so we're just gonna have to wait and see where that goes. And as for what Deji did after his fight, he tweeted out, Thank you guys for supporting me and I'm sorry, but nothing will keep me down. And this confused a lot of people because earlier in the week, he was stating that if he didn't beat Alex Wasabi in the match he was gonna quit boxing are you gonna fight again even if you lose no really i'm not fine this is it if i lose i'm not fine no way yeah. why you did all the work Obviously, Deji's sentiments changed and he went on to upload a video onto his YouTube channel confirming that he will be back in boxing and then explain why he wanted to continue to do so. I said that if I were to lose my last boxing fight, I'd never fight again. I want you to see me as an example. Yeah, I failed three times, but I'm, I'm not stopping. I'm coming back. I'm going to carry on boxing. And I'm gonna get a victory. That being said, yes, I'm gonna carry on boxing. I'm not gonna quit. I wanna be an example for people. Memes would even start popping up of Deji about his new losing streak and how he's still gonna keep boxing. But aside from that, Deji and Alex would also meet up with each other after their fight, and it turned out to be pretty wholesome. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I missed We're like, so much. Yeah. There was one where I was like, I threw it because I knew you were gonna slip, and I tried to throw this, and you still got under it. <laughs> and I was like, what? How did you get that low? Your slips impressed me. Yeah, that was Damn. so fast. This is the best Deji we've seen. That is the best. I'm your daily big. He's gonna get you somewhere. If you keep going, for real. And yeah, that's where we're at with pretty much everything. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in another video.